guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a combination of the Bugaboo Donkey. Now this pram can be a single pram or a double pram. It can have two seats on it, it can have two bassinets on it, it can have two capsules on it. It can also have a combination of all of them and face all different ways. I did a video on my City Select com like a combination video, so I figured I best do a uh, combinations video on the donkey. So here it is. The colours might look a little strange. I have this jade hood with my um, pram liner. I, to be honest, all my hoods are elsewhere right now, and this is the only hood I have with the hood rods. So I just chucked it on because it was easier than you know, mucking around and swapping hoods over and stuff. So I just chucked it on, on and you understand that the hood can um, be in that position. So let's literally start at the beginning. Right now we're in single mode. We can have baby, we can have baby face us. We can recline baby all the way down. We can also sit baby up halfway and sit them all the way up. So that's facing us. In single mode, we also have this cute little basket here which just uh, detaches by literally pulling on it. So that's really awesome. And that is what takes up the side of the pram here. So this is where the pram slides out and you can fit another seat on. So to use the room up, they've put a little basket here which is amazing and so many people love this basket, including me. <laughs> So we can have bug face forward. Now let's turn up around, literally pick it up and tilt it over. Bub is clipped in now. They can sit up. Let's just put our handlebar a little further up like we were actually pushing the brand. So maybe about there. And clip it in. So Bub can sit up, then we can recline one and recline two. So now Bub is laying down, hood is on all functional. Then we can add a capsule onto one side or the other or onto both. So if we wanted to add a capsule on we literally just press both buttons and a little side note the white buttons on the seats are memory buttons so you only have to press them once on either side. It makes it easier instead of trying to press buttons and pull it off and then you can just grab it and it pulls off. So we grab our capsule adapter and slide that on. And then we grab our capsule and click that one on. So it's really easy. You will be able to tell when it's locked in place by these uh, buttons here, they will make a clicking sound. And this is also how you remove them. So just like that, or clicks in place when it's ready. Now, I'm, I'm going to definitely say Bugaboo would suggest that you don't do this, but I have a double adapter and I, it slides apart, it, it like rotates apart, I can show you in a second how you put it together and pull it apart. If you for any reason had twins and just had to take one baby out and you didn't want to take like the whole pram out, you can actually unjoin the capsule adapters and just put one side on. Now the way that the double have made, there isn't a clicky bar on the inside which means that it does have a little bit of room here, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I don't know how it could go anywhere, like it's literally on a big bar, something slips over the top of it so I don't think it could move or fall off. So I really think it's secure in that sense, but I guess Bugaboo would say not to and to buy a single one as well. So we'll take the capsule off. And to take the adapter off, there should be white buttons down the side. If you have a single one, there'll be white buttons on either side. If you just have the double one like I do, just one button on each side. Or if it's connected to the other one, there'll be a white button on the other side as well. So with bugaboos, anything that's white does something. It's some sort of button or lever, so just keep that in mind. Okay, now I'm going to add on our bassinet. This is our bassinet in uh, parent facing mode. I just swapped the hood over because like I said I've only got one hood at the moment so this is how it would normally go. Again you have your side basket there, easy to use your bassinet for bug to lie in. Nice and easy, you can still access your basket easily with the seat, the capsule and the bassinet, still easy to get to the basket. So there are single mode configurations with the three things that we have. So 
the seat, the capsule, the bassinet. Now let's go to... So we can have two capsules, two bassinets, or two seats. And then we can have configures of both. So you can have a seat and a capsule, a seat and a bassinet. You can have a, a bassinet and a capsule if you would want that. Maybe if you just have one baby and you were going out for a while shopping, you could put them in the capsule and click them onto the frame. And then when they woke up, you could put them into the bassinet and they could continue you know, their day there. As long as you didn't mind pushing the double, but that is an option. Or if you did say have twins and one was asleep and one was awake you, and you had the bassinets in the car, you could do that as well. You could put one in the uh, capsule and one in the bassinet. So there's a bunch of different configurations and there's no restrictions on the seats forward or rear facing. The bassinet I believe will go on forward facing but I don't really have a need for the bassinet to go on forward facing. They're so young that you would want them to face you I would think. Oh, this is weird. I don't know if that's like sitting on properly. Okay, it's in. I don't like that one little bit. Why would you want a bassinet to face forward? I mean, if the sun was like crazy behind you maybe, but I feel like I would just get like a blanket or something to put over instead of changing the whole seat around. Let's change this pram from mono mode to duo mode or twin mode. So we've taken the bassinet, the seat or the capsule off. We're going to remove our side basket. If you're not using this, just store it or maybe keep it in the car. We have a white lever in the middle down here at the front, a white lever in the middle at the back, and a white lever at the top on the handlebar. Then we have a white button down here in the middle. The best thing to do this is to never force it. Pick it up on two of the wheels, lean it to the side. See how we just have these two wheels on the ground? Now I'm gonna press this white button in and in my other hand, I'm going to slide the frame out toward me. And you'll hear it click. And then we have to go to all of those levers again. And what you're gonna do is pull the frame out and click it shut. So I've done the front one, let's do the back one. We want to pull it out and click it shut. We don't want to force these or you break them. See how the handlebar is sitting in quite uh, close? Look how far we're going to pull it out. That was a lot. And now we're going to clip it. Now we're in duo or twin mode. And now we can fit a seat here and a seat here or a bassinet or capsule. Let's start with two capsules. Capsule adapters, we want to make sure they're the right way. Yes, this one has been vinyl wrapped by me in <laughs> Galaxy print because I just hate silver frames. I don't know why I, <laughs> I've just developed this silver frame hating thing. So when I had to take this out one day, I decided to vinyl wrap it and I haven't gotten to vinyl wrap this one yet because I haven't used that one yet. I haven't needed to use it. So, where does it line up? No, we have to line these up. Where did it line up? Okay, they're lined up. I can feel it. And then what we're going to want to do is turn them opposite to each other. So once they're lined up, I like to grab them in the middle and then you use these like as a lever to turn. So now that's locked in. We have four posts to line up. So we're going to line up all four and then we're going to push down and you hear the two clicks. Now we can put two capsules on. One locked in and the other one goes just here it does make the frame slightly wider you will be able to see that the capsule overhangs and it overhangs on this side as well so you used to be able to fit through a standard doorway with the bugaboo donkey in the uh, double or duo mode with the seats and bassinets but when you add the capsules on you can no longer fit through a standard doorway you should be able to fit through a standard doorway with a capsule in mono though. So that is a little bit of a pain. To remove this one, we have one button over here, one button over here. Then we're going to lift it off and it comes back apart if you wanted to make it smaller. Again, pull them away from each other. So I'm just going to use one now 
and this is this one for this side. It actually does matter which one goes where. I don't think that this one will lock into here or it won't work properly. Oh, it will lock on, but I don't think it works properly with the seats and bassinets and stuff because it pushes it over to that side of the frame, if that makes any sense. And let's put a seat on. So our seat can go facing forward. And our new baby is facing us. The capsule doesn't recline or anything, but this seat does recline. It has three positions and they all work. So there's our sitting up position, lying down one, lying down two. Oops, that's a little bit too far. So that's lying down. So our older baby or our toddler can still have the comforts of being in a pram. <laughs> they can sleep if they want to, they can sit up if they want to. Now we can also have them facing us. And of course, we get the same three reclines. So sitting up, lying down a little bit, or lying all the way down. Now of course, you can have the hood on here, and you do have the hood on your capsule as well to protect from the sun or just to keep the light out. But again, I just am sick of changing my hoods around right now. <laughs> If I was to take this capsule off, I can add a second seat or I can add a bassinet. So if you're familiar with the Bugaboos at all, you will notice and know that the seat frames on the bassinet and the seat are exactly the same seat frame, it's just that the seat fabric changes. So this is the bassinet fabric and this is the seat fabric. So the exact same frames are the same. So within the seat frames, you can put two seat fabrics. So one seat fabric here and one seat fabric here, or two bassinets. So one bassinet here and one bassinet here. Again, these can both face both ways. So again, nothing's wrong with our recline. We have all of our positions. It lies down fine. And we can also turn around and we have our reclines again, all the way down, all the way up. And it's not a problem. You don't have to move seats around or adjust footrests or anything because there's another baby in the way. But of course, with that, you do get a slightly wider pram. It's not a very wide pram. This configuration here fits through a standard doorway. It's a little bit of a squeeze, but it does fit. And I'm talking like a standard doorway of a house. The bassinet can of course face forward if you want to, but I'm not going to show you those because I don't see any reason why you'd want a newborn or very young baby facing forward unless of course the sun. But if it were me, I would just get some pram clips here and here, onto here and here, and just have a muslin wrap across the top to keep the sun out if that was a problem. Because I feel like changing the whole pram around is just crazy. And then with the bugaboos, they don't have peekaboo windows. So I would need to see what my baby was doing. <laughs> I think that's all of the combinations. Like I said, there's a few. You can have it in single or double. It's really great for twins. The seats aren't huge, but they're also not tiny. And these prams can take a bit of a beating. You can also get a little buggy board on the back. All right, I think that that was everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that it helped you. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and my videos, and I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. I do some sort of pram video every single week, whether it's how to wash a pram, a review on a pram, um, different little pieces. If you have any suggestions about any pram videos that you want to see done or a certain brand that you want me to try and review, I will give it a shot. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!